everybody welcome back to full circle with joyce we're just about to wrap up the show but before then we have a very important conversation that we want to have with a lovely couple joining us on set today they look really nice and young and pretty karibuni sana to the show Thank great you. to have you here this is reverend elias kirimi minoti and his wife pastor jacqueline wikali kirimi Great to have you here. And as we pull up, you know, to our longer shot here, you'll see that we actually have a cake on the table because not only are they here to talk to us about 20 years of marriage, they're actually also celebrating their anniversary. Is today the exact day? Yeah. Today is the exact day. Happy anniversary to you both. Thank you. Uh, God bless you and may he give you another 20 and even more after that. So we'll be cutting this cake uh, in their honor at the end of the show. But first, let's get to know them just a little bit. Tell us now, you guys got married 20 years ago today. How has the journey been? Well, the journey has been good, yeah. but of course there are challenges. But one thing that has been keeping us together is love mm -hmm. and the ability of willing to stay together until the end of time. Mm -hmm. Because when we got married, there is a vow we made that till death separate us, mm -hmm. there's nothing else that can separate us. So we've been working together, we've been friends, we've been good during hard times, during good times. We have not forfeited. Uh, we have not uh, forfeited any of us, and uh, so this is now where we are today, just yeah. celebrating uh, 20 years after marriage Amazing. with my beautiful wife. Oh, that's fantastic! Yeah. Tell me, tell, tell me, take me back to your dating days. Yes. Did he come with like nice lines when he was trying to get you? Okay, when we were dating, like when he was trying to catch up with me, <laughs> I had another guy. Oh, first of all, I love that you said when he was trying to catch up with me. And she was busy. She had someone else. Okay, girl, go ahead. Yeah, I had another guy. So he, he tried his best to convince me. And I was like, yeah, I need to give him a chance. Because actually what I saw in him, by then he was very poor. Uh -huh. He had nothing. Uh -huh. But then I saw a vision in him. That Come is what on. dragged me to him. Wow. Yeah, because if I, I, if I was to look for material things, he had nothing. Yeah. He didn't even have a television. Uh, yeah. He had nothing. Uh -huh. So <laughs> I looked at the vision in him, uh -huh. and I saw a person we could make a good life together. Wow. Yeah, that is what drove me to him. So what happened to this other guy? Uh, okay, the other guy... <laughs> Uh, I had to excuse myself and say like, yeah, <laughs> let's keep praying and trusting in God. <laughs> that vision must have been very strong. True. Eh? Mm. But yeah. you know, you need to tell the brothers to be encouraged yeah. that it's not about money. I know sequizi, yeah. maneno yeah. ni mengi, eh? Yeah. Tunasema ni pesa, yeah. hosu yeah. ni gari, yeah. ni nyumba, in which mm. estate. But it's not that. Yeah. Yeah. It's the vision behind the man yeah. that makes yeah. the man. Yeah. Yes. Tell me, Connie, how did you, which words, I think we need to help out some of our <laughs> friends here. Yeah? Which words did you use for, for this vision to cause her to leave another man? Hey, boss, salute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Actually, it was by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Because when I first saw her, I did just see a woman. I saw a wife. Eish, okay. And so that drove me. Because the income, we had a big crusade. And we had a big crusade. And walikuwa naishi kwetu. Okay. A big team from Nairobi. Okay. And so asubuhi walikuwa na muka wanafagia the compound, wanakimbia kuchota maji. And there was this one morning when they woke up and they were sweeping. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was just passing across. And then I just looked at her and so a beautiful lady uh -huh. sweeping nicely. Wow. I mean, funga leso. <laughs> and then I had a voice within me say, this is your wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, I waited until the mission was over. We came back to Nairobi. I mm. told her, you know what? The Lord has spoken to me and wow. I feel that you are my wife. <laughs> and she said, let me pray. Uh -huh. I'll give the report back to you. <laughs> and then I was like, a week later, I went as, <laughs> her, as the Lord has spoken. <laughs> and then uh, mm. two weeks later, she said, yes, uh -huh. I'll marry you. And wow, is, wait. So you met... You gave her a week to decide? Yes, to pray. To pray? Yeah. She gave me a report after two weeks of prayer. And then after that, you decided to get married? After that, we said You're already to marry. engaged? Yeah. Within a month? 
No, we after that then of course after agreeing to marry me, it's yeah. not the process of engagement. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow, but and planning as in for the wedding. with your mindset, yeah, eh. it was settled. <coughs> wow. And this is you've said something very interesting. Now let's help out the sisters. Yes. Because you said when you looked at her, mm. yes. you saw a wife. Yes. Tell me what is it that causes a man now to see uyu ni mstiana, uyu ni just a lady, but this one is a wife. Yeah, you see, like most of us who are born again. The Spirit of God witnesses to us, testifies to us. Mm. He, he gives us the spirit of discernment. You are able to tell Je, who you are now as a kuwa, muke, ama ni mchezo tu. Mm. So, me, lipo mongadi and dani yake, unajua kuna vile those days was chana wengine, walikuwa mefagia, lava minama, <laughs> ukipita, una, you don't want to look, okay? So, me, in a, uh, leona mchana medifunga less of Zuri. <laughs> so, it's a noble, decent is lady. a disciplined lady. Come and on. she can make a wife. So what are you doing to look at us? To not look at some things you don't want to look at. You just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really awesome. Yeah. And I mean, it's just amazing how you two came together. Very determined from the get-go. Yeah. And I wonder for you, I mean, that must have been scary too. I mean, we're, we're joking and laughing about it now. But in a sense, it's kind of scary. This is someone you've kind of just met, you know, Juicy Juicy too. Yeah. He's not, he, he doesn't have the material things that you would sort of desire. And now you're planning towards marriage. Had you sort of been ready even for that? I know you were dating somebody else, but was the relationship as serious? Was some marriage something that you felt you were ready for? Okay, I was ready for marriage, uh, and I was praying to God to give me a man who was God-fearing. Mm -hmm. So the fact, him being a God-fearing man, I thought he had all the qualities and the characters that I needed. Wow. And that is what... you had the most important one. Yeah, that was the most important one, a God-fearing man, husband. That is what I was looking for. And because we, we, we had a group that we were doing missions together, I knew him through that, and I knew he was a committed guy, and that is why I gave in so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So really, this thing about faith, it, it's not a joke, because it really, it, it forms the basis of, of everything else. In, yeah. in a sense, you're almost saying you could have, you were able, you were willing to handle everything else. Bora to you, Yeah, 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 yeah. But you Actually, so many... I had not yeah. written a lot of, like, you should List. have these. I had not. <laughs> That long list, uh -huh. I had just one. A good, fearing man. That is all what I needed. Wow. Yeah. Speak to the ladies, though, who they have a list, long, short, whatever, they have a list. Yeah. Um, and then you come across a guy who has everything else on that list except your number one. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, ladies have so a very long list, like tall, black, handsome, guy <laughs> yeah but then they forget together with the handsomeness together with being tall dark what keeps a marriage is not it's not the beauty it's not the the the, the outlook of a person what keeps a marriage is character mm. and this character is built on faith mm -hmm. and this character is built by the word mm -hmm. so if you can get an ugly man but mine is very handsome <laughs> if you can get an ugly man but a god fearing one mm -hmm. i assure you this marriage will work wow yeah tell us what are some of the biggest challenges i guess that people need to learn how to confront in marriage because i i tend to think nowadays a lot of people are rushing towards the wedding day yeah. and not the marriage. <coughs> they are not ready for marriage. Then they just want a big wedding and uh -huh, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things that you think, because I'm sure you've been through challenges. Every mm. marriage goes through yeah, challenges. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you've sort of learned now in your 20 years that you look back on and you think, hey, when I was younger, I kind of underestimated <laughs> what this thing would be. Let's begin with you, Reverend Elias. Yeah, right. Because uh, most, mostly wakati vijana wanaoa, mm. they don't understand their responsibility. Mm -hmm. First, you must count the costs before build the house. Uh, because marriage is very funny because it is the only institution that you get a certificate before learning. Mm -hmm. So you learn 
when you have the certificate with you because on the marriage day you can apply a certificate and you now qualify mm -hmm. and then learning comes the year after so there are a lot of things that most of us don't know you mm -hmm. don't expect that there is a one there is a responsibility mm -hmm. as a father you are going to produce children you need to take care of those children and educate them you have the in-laws you have the brothers and the sisters around you number two is the aspect of beauty a lot of us guys look at the beauty mm -hmm. and you feel like hey, I can back if you, ni you know you, under, you don't understand that ukimuoa kama ulikuwa una vuto na beauty atanyauka aya right mm -hmm. then do utakuja kuundua haya kumbi it's something else not what i saw hapo sasa ndo utaanza pengine ulikuwa unataka size 8 okay mm -hmm utena niyo size 8 itakuchosha uta feel ah i need a change mm -hmm. okay another shape so the most important thing is determination and the commitment and the willingness okay to stay together uh, in during all times even yeah. after marriage okay so this is what keeps our family moving on uh we we, we crack the jokes with a lot of times mm -hmm. we you know she's my friend mm -hmm. Na uwa tunachati sana, tunangalia ta the future at a glance. Mm -hmm. Na tunambia nanga, you know, tukizeeka those days. Wakati ambapo watu takuwa, tunawezo wa kutemba tembea. Mm. So, tunatembea na kamuti. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we create the jokes, eh? Yeah. So, na mambia nanga, mimi nikienda kule upstairs, mchana. <laughs> na unapaki kuchini. Sasa, mimi nimefika huko, nimeshinda kuteremuka. <laughs> so, unapambia, hey, my dear. <laughs> You see, these are things that you, you talk Your and you create jokes. Yeah, yeah, you know, for fun. Yeah. So, mm. marriage is not, marriage is about fun, it's about friendship, yeah. it's about dating each other, mm. it's about mm. sharing a lot of ideas and experiences. Mm. Okay. So, it does not just end after seeing the beauty, after loving someone. There's right. much more. Yeah. You must be able to accommodate the other parents. Mm. You, okay, you, you can marry someone, Pengine the other, other underlying factors, Pengine are asthmatic. Yeah. Now what do you do? Right. Do you do those owner because she's asthmatic? Okay. No, she's your wife. And and I want to ask you the same thing. If there were any sort of things that maybe you kind of underestimated and now when you are now in the marriage, you're like, hey, come Navy. Especially when it, and I want us to, to talk about the finance bit for a little bit for both of you. Because the truth is, a lot of marriages today do break down because finances is an issue. And so, as much as you know, God-fearing was your most important quality, which it should be, um, was there ever a point that now that actually actually created friction? And for you as the man, kulikuwa wakati ambao sasa hata wewe pia unasikia like, oh, maybe she's, she's, you know, going to think less of me because I'm not, you know, wealthy and I'm not rich and I'm not providing in whichever ways that maybe she might have expected. So let's begin with you first. Wow. <clears throat> we have had uh, challenges financially because uh, uh, as I have said, he was very poor when he was marrying me. And so we, we had a lot of like, we could not even afford to cook with a stove. Wow. We had to cook with a jiko, charcoal, mm -hmm. so that we can cook, boil water for the kids so that we can also cook tea for the following morning mm -hmm. and have some wat warm water in the thermos <coughs> so that tomorrow we can, can keep going. So we kept trying so many businesses. We have done so many, mm -hmm. starting with those days wakati kulikuwa na isimu ya jamii. He tried to put it for me. We went to Masai Market. We did so much. But what I can tell uh, listeners is, as you keep moving, at one point, God will come through for you. Because right. what happened, we continued, we struggled. I remember there's a time our firstborn son went to school and the teacher was so much irritated by the fees that had accumulated. And so uh, during, when the, when, the, when the boy came in the morning, the teacher gave him a letter, tomorrow don't come to school because you have a balance. So he wrote the balance. Mm -hmm. During break time, tea time, he gave another note. Tomorrow, <laughs> don't come to school. Oh. Lunch time, as he was serving lunch, he gave another note. During when they were taking fruit, during at at three, he gave another. So, and when the child was coming back home, he was given five letters About of reminders. Fees. Tomorrow, don't come to school if you have not cleared your balance. Right. Okay. And so it was a challenge. Yeah. But what we did, 
we still stuck together. Mm -hmm. We were like, I remember sometimes we would have nothing to eat. And he would tell me, don't mm -hmm. worry. Alikuwa mm natunitua -hmm. inja na niambia, Eh, wakati kuna kona giza sana asubuhi na kuanga karibu kufika mm -hmm. that is what he always told me yeah. kukiwa na giza sana morning is almost coming Amazing. so that is what kept me coming <coughs> now we continued but eventually god came through for us fantastic yeah. and i think from what i'm hearing from your story there's there's a lot about believing in one another yeah, yeah. um that's most important regardless of what people are saying because i'm sure even you had to tell your girlfriends yeah. you know because now you have bad friends eh? the ones who are telling you <laughs> it's very important to yeah. be on each other's team yeah. and really keep that friendship going let me just touch on, on some feedback here um Someone here is saying, hey, Joyce and the beautiful couple, they're so amazing. Happy 20th anniversary. May God grant them many more. And may God help us as the young generation to focus on a man's vision rather than money. Absolutely. Um, ask them, how do you deal with a man who keeps on sending love messages to a lady and you have caught him? Na kaomba msamaha ukamsame lakini still does it. Okay, a lot of people are obviously dealing with infidelity, mm. you know, in their, <coughs> in their relationships. Kwanza inanzi hata dating. Hamjafika hata engagement, it's yeah. already happening. Mm. Um, maybe some tips as far as how people can, can deal with that in their relationships? Yeah, one, a relationship with that faithfulness. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, especially if you are in a relationship and there are issues of infidelity, one, Nikitu ambacho, you need to discuss, to talk it out. Na number two, we also need to understand after discussing, Mungu ndo tupandilisha. Mm. It is God. Mm -hmm. We are what we are, not because of our effort. Remember, we, each one of us is, is, is has sinned before God. Na tuko vile tuko kwa sababu Mungu ametuwezesha. Mm -hmm. So number one, after having a chat, after discussing this matter through, then we also need to understand that we need to bear one another where mm -hmm. we pray for one another. Because it is it revolves about the God helping us. Yes, times are bad about the issues of infidelity, nikubaya, mm. na zivizuri, yeah. and we cannot encourage that. True. But then above all, for, for example, someone who is married. Mm -hmm. So, kama pengine ni muke na mume wake akwani faithful. What the wife should do is to discuss with their with their with the husband and then also pray for that person mm. that God may to transform him. Mm -hmm. Because what to talk about sana. Mm. Kuna familia ambazo mzee alikuwa mlevi, mtumbaya yeah. sana, but with it time akabandika akakuwa mzuri. Yeah. So people should not give up on their on their spouses. Okay. They should pray and then encourage them and also seek spiritual guidance. Okay. Yeah. If you were to be approached by a young couple today um, maybe they've been thinking about marriage. Corona has made the heart grow fonder, and they feel, yes, this is the one. What is one piece of advice you'd give you'd give them? And I'd like to hear that from each of you. Let's start with you, Mom. Okay, <clears throat> especially when people have decided to get married, uh, there are some things they need to 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 consider. One of them is faithfulness, mm -hmm. and another one is commitment to each other. Right. Uh, so that a marriage can work well, people need to commit themselves to the marriage. Okay. You need to invest like, an, actually marriage is an investment. Mm -hmm. You should invest your time, your energy, your resources in it. Yeah. Sometimes you need to surprise your wife. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to, 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 to make her understand things. Make her see things. Uh, you need to make her read from the same page because sometimes right. there's a difference. Okay. You want us to, you want, like for example, you want to buy a car, the other person wants to buy a plot. Mm. So, so that you can read from the same page, yeah. you need to make each other understand. Okay. Why is it important to get a plot instead of getting a car? All right. Yeah. I think Hapo Tutasema, Mama has spoken for the both of you. Yes. I think Amenena Vizuri. Amenena Vizuri. Ama Namnagan. Yes. Ivio, Kavisa. Well, we know we need to wrap up the show, but before we do, we want to celebrate you guys as you cut your anniversary cake. Uh, congratulations once again, Mnaiza Karibiana. And uh, cut the cake as we get ready to sign out here. Wow. And as they get ready for that, let me just say thank you guys so much for being a part of the show. We do appreciate you. There's the knife. Go ahead. 
you know what we usually sing for okay since thank you for the gangu but mm. happy anniversary to you and uh, may god bless you and grant you very many more yay <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, now I'm cost smart sana. I hope unampeleka mahali. Yeah, true of course. Good, After good, this. Good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> All right guys. Let's see you tomorrow for even more full circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your feedback. Take care. Ciao. Thank you.